Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. Thanks so much for joining me today. What kind of looks do you like to wear for spring? Do you wear certain colors just during the springtime, summer, fall, or do you just spread it all out all year long? I'm probably more of someone that likes to use my makeup all year long, but some of the things that I have really um, inspire me for spring, so I'm here to share that with you today. But before I get too far involved in my video, my daughter really wanted me to introduce the newest member to our little family. So I'm going to bring that member on here in just a second. Okay, here comes Abby and she is going to bring in the newest member of our little family. So this is our new dog, okay? We got her today and her name's Ruby and yeah, she's shy. She's so shy and she's shaking and we're just really trying to give her lots and lots of love. And Snuggles and Charlie, our Labradoodle, he's still not sure if this is a dog, a toy, or a or, snack. Or a snack. We're just, he's still trying to get used to her. So we're all really very excited. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed meeting Ruby. I'm also trying to be super aware of Charlie, our current dog, and um, just making sure that he still feels loved. This is a mommy's boy right here, Charlie. So Ruby is probably going to be a daddy's girl and an Abby's girl. <laughs> For sure. If you have any tips on how to merge two dogs together to become best friends, I'd love to hear those below. Thank you so much. So here today, I have not just eyeshadow palettes that I want to talk to you about today, but just a few other products. And some of them I am wearing today. Um, so first I'm going to start out with this um, bronzer. To me, spring is sort of like we're emerging from this cocoon and we want to start to really kind of like deepen up our skin, you know, and contour and bronze our skin a little bit, but we're not really out in the sun a whole lot. So I've been finding over this past week that my NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer is just light enough to be able to give me the tone that I want. This is a really good, um, bronzer because I, I like the tone of it. It's not super warm. It's not super cool. It's, uh, I guess, maybe neutral. And so I find that it adds just the right amount of color and warmth to my skin while also being cool and helping me to contour just a little bit as well. So this is something that I'm looking forward to getting some a good spring use out of. And if you have this bronzer as well, you know, maybe you'll find the inspiration to use it right now too. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you about just because I only have one is the lipstick that I'm wearing today. I'm trying to be very brave and I've worn this twice now two videos you see this week will have this in there. This is um, from Milani and I don't know what like the formula is but it's um, in the shade 320 petal and it has this cute cute packaging and the bullet has been messed up so that's part of the reason why when I'm putting it on I do get it messed up a little bit on that side but I'm trying to become more brave and wearing this a little bit more often with things that I feel like when the rest of my look is um, you know just neutral enough this lipstick adds a really great spring colorful pop to my look so I'm really looking forward to wearing that this spring okay I am going to talk about my uh, face palette I have a, um, two face palettes but this one I feel like it's really springy it is the hourglass ambient um, edit lighting edit unlocked elephant palette and um, I feel like these blushes really just um, Scream spring to me. They're very pink and bright and glowy and a lot of the powders in here are glowy. The bronzer in here is also really nice and glowy. So everything in here just screams fresh, spring, light, and life. So I'm really looking forward to using that during the springtime. Okay, so now let's talk about some blushes and then I have my eyeshadow palettes. Um, I have five blushes that I wanted to talk to you about today, and the cream blush that I'm going to share is the Rare Beauty 
um, cream blush in the shade Peace. This is obviously an orange color and so much a little bit of this goes a very long way. Um, I like this color for spring because it's just, it kind of reminds me of fresh flowers. And it's, um, again, just fresh, flowery, um, and just, just um, light enough for the springtime. Okay, and then I have two of the Benefit boxed blushes. I have the mini sizes. This one is Peachin'. Peachin is a really great blush topper for me, in my opinion. It's not um, really very deep. You have to like really build it up. And it almost has like a um, highlighter quality to it. And in my opinion, some people like to use this alone, but I'm more of a blush topper kind of vein. So, uh, you know, peach, definitely very springy and summery. And the next one from Benefit is the Shelly blush. Shelly is one of my favorite ones that I have. And it's definitely a very peachy, corally kind of color as well. And um, that one's right there. It's, it's definitely, like I said, more on the coral side, which is just fresh cut flowers in a box for sure. Classic OG spring blush would be the Milani Luminoso. Um, and not, you know, I don't think I need to speak to this too, too much. This one is a very bright orange, colorful, peachy, luminous blush. And I'm really looking forward to getting some really great use out of that. And the last blush that I want to share with you um, that is very springy is from Persona. Can you guess what shade it is? It is bubble. <laughs> oh, just looking at this, it's like fresh cheeks. I love this bubblegum pink pop on a really neutral eye like this. And boom, that on the cheeks, fresh spring ready, ready, ready. Okay, so for eyeshadow palettes, I have four that I want to share with you that I'm really excited to look for, looking forward to using this spring. And I feel like if you have these, these would be really um, beneficial for you to use. And again, you can use any colors that you want any time of year, but these kind of just have the spring vibes to me. Of course, I'm still going to be wearing my bronzy neutral looks, but every once in a while, I'm going to add these as well. The first one I want to share is my Tarte Tartlet jewel palette and it's just a mini six pan palette that has um, just some really pretty pinky shimmery colors um, these um, these shimmers are um, really lovely and just fresh on the eyes and so I find that I have been drawn to using this a lot more lately I'm loving that um, of course ABH Norvina to me is a really good one any time of year. Um, I loved using this in the fall for some of these more warm, deeper tones. I love using it around Valentine's Day for the pinks, but really I get spring vibes out of most of these shimmers. The shimmers in this palette to me make it for sure. They're creamy, they're pigmented, you don't have to use a whole lot of them. You get a lot of bang for your buck on this. And so I'm really looking forward to incorporating some of these shimmers into my looks and really kind of thinking about this as a one shadow look kind of palette. I feel like a lot of these shimmers are going to be really, really good on one shadow looks. And I may even do a video about that in April. Okay, of course you can't say spring without the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And I am wearing this on my eyes today. Um, I have a combination just lightly of Puree and Georgia. This is Puree and Georgia in my crease. Then I added Luscious all over my lid. And then to try it out as inspired by Lisa J Makeup, in a video that you will see on Wednesday. Um, the a video for me on Wednesday, it's my Who Wore It Better video, spoiler alert. Um, I use the shade Delectable as kind of an eyeliner and my vague attempt at a liner. 
And I feel like I want to um, continue to try to do that with Delectable and maybe even try it wet next time. Um, so I got that tip from Lisa J Makeup when I was doing my video for Wednesday. Please make sure you check that out. Um, so this palette is just all kinds of spring vibes. Something fresh and light like what I'm wearing today or the purples and bringing that out a little bit more. Some of these peachy pink tones. Great, great spring palette. Love that one so much. And the last one that I wanted to share with you today is something I feel like is going to really bridge the gap kind of late May, early June between spring and summer. And it's my NARS Summer Unrated palette. And I got this last year. Um, this is um, limited edition. I don't know that you can get this anymore. Um, but it's a very um, sort of ABH um, soft glam vibes. But I feel like this palette does it better. It, the shades are more pigmented, they're smoother, they blend better. Mine, my soft glam may have been getting a little old, but um, I did just kind of enjoy using this one more than the other one. But I think this is gonna bridge the gap between spring and summer very nicely because you've got shades like this right here where it's just um, warm, orangey, kind of coppery colors. Um, and even like this one right here is sort of a pinky orange color. It's hard to tell on the camera, but when I'm looking at it, there's like flakes of, of orange and pink in it. Um, and then you've got shimmers like this right here that are almost like pink and purple. So I think that this palette is going to be wonderful for spring slash summer for sure. So if you have any of these products, I would love for you to let me know what your thoughts are on them. Do you love them as much as I do? And also, um, if you like being inspired by what you already have, instead of going out and buying the newest, trendiest makeup, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel because I love to encourage you um, along your journey of mindful consumerism, low buy, no buy, whatever that is, that's what I'm here for or in order to support you. I hope that you will tune into Wednesday's video because that is my Who Wore It Better series. And uh, again, I'm doing Lisa J Makeup and following one of her tutorials using the Sweet Peach Palette. So I hope to see you in that video. I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.